Good morning, you guys. It is currently Monday morning. It's, I think, 7. Yeah, 7 o'clock. I just woke up not too long ago, and I figured I would vlog today since I haven't in a while. I will just kind of take you through my day and show you what I eat, being almost 33 weeks pregnant and still staying somewhat keto slash low carb. Also, please ignore the zit on my lip. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's a look, so. Yeah, I am going to have my cup of coffee for the day and then just get some work things done. But I figured I would quickly show you. I am in baby's room right now. <laughs> so I wanted to show you my little pregnant belly here. Um, I think in the last vlog I showed his room, maybe a little bit, but we've obviously added some stuff since then, like, we hung some pictures, his crib is good, like, all done and up, we just need to move this up, and then he has a swing in here, some of his little outfits are hung, we put some shelves up, so yeah, uh, here is my pregnant belly, he is getting so big. He moves all the time. <laughs> so it's a real good time here. Let's go make our coffee for the day because I am tired and I need it and I have a lot of work to do today. So I need all the energy. So let's go. in my cute little fall cup and I figured sorry this lighting is like the lighting's all over the place because it's still dark outside so please just ignore but I figured I would come on here and just kind of update you guys since I haven't seen you guys in about a month or so i am first gonna apologize because i know my videos have been like so sporadic and not like regular at all i am very sorry <laughs> i just i don't have an excuse i've been super act i'm always active on my instagram so if you don't follow me there definitely do but i get it i'm sorry i apologize I will try my best to make videos whenever I can. I woke up this morning and I wasn't even planning on making this, but I felt like I needed to because I haven't in a while, so. Okay, so some updates. I am 33 weeks. Technically, I'm like 32 weeks and six days, but tomorrow is my 33 week mark. So we have seven weeks left until baby boy decides to make his debut if you haven't seen my last video where i am talking about or where i kind of go through a day of what i'm eating i would definitely go watch that it kind of explains more of like what i'm doing throughout pregnancy but basically i'm not doing strict keto but i am doing lower carb however i've been craving like a lot of fruits and stuff so i've just been listening to my body and just kind of eating what i feel like while still eating healthy so really the only thing that's not like keto friendly would be the fruit so like lots of peaches cherries things like that but for the most part i do stay like lazy keto i would say so that's what i've been doing for the last sorry if you hear my dog back there the first trimester i wasn't able to do keto at all i was so sick and nauseous and i couldn't eat meat for the life of me but second trimester on i have felt great so that's what i've been doing food wise yeah i'm in my third trimester now i feel really good i'm getting a little anxious for him to be here 
since this is our first baby but we're slowly getting things ready we have our maternity photo shoot this week which i'm super excited about we're going up to the mountains to do it and all the leaves are changing colors and it just it looks so pretty so i'm super excited and then we also have our baby shower next weekend as well as my birthday so lots of fun things coming up also as you can probably see my hair is back blonde thank you god <laughs> um you've probably kind of seen throughout actually eh, if you follow me on instagram you've seen that i've slowly been going blonde but the last video that you probably saw i had short dark hair but since for like the last six months i have been going blonde my hair lady's been gradually taking me blonde very slowly so we don't damage my hair which has been great because it still feels so healthy i do have some extensions up front here just like the frontal pieces but other than that that's just my hair so yeah we are back blonde it feels so good obviously it's still a little like brassy um when i had blonde before it was really ashy and that's kind of my end goal but i'm so happy with it like so happy so i am gonna finish my coffee and then i will show you what we have for breakfast okay i am now in our home gym oh my hair is a mess um please ignore how bad my self tan looks i'm waiting <laughs> to scrub it off until either tonight or tomorrow just so i can have it like fresh and dark for our pictures on wednesday but anyways I am just gonna plan out my workout for the day. My workouts are usually only about 30 minutes long right now because being pregnant takes all the energy out of you. So that's about all I can do. But I usually try and do a full body workout for that 30 minutes just so I feel like I'm like working everything and like getting in a good workout. But I thought I would show you my outfit really fast and just... <laughs> kind of what my body is looking like at 33 weeks pregnant so we're getting big people that's all i'm gonna say okay so here is my outfit for the day look at this belly you guys holy crap <laughs> i'm dying um, so luckily I have been able to still fit into my Lululemon Align pants. I wear a size 4 and they're stretching. We're doing good. I can't wear them for too long because they're a little tight. And then my sports bra is just from a Gold Elite. Yeah, things are getting a little tight here. <laughs> But luckily I'm still able to fit into most of my stuff, which has been nice. I am gonna plan out my workout for the day, do that, shower, get ready, and then I will see you guys when we make breakfast. Okay, so for breakfast, I am going to make some keto French toast with a side of sausage links. This has been my go-to meal. It's seriously so freaking good and super easy to make. So let me show you the ingredients that I'm using and then I'll walk you through how to make everything. So you need two eggs. Um, this is the bread I'm gonna be using. I get this at either Walmart or Costco. I am also going to be using a little bit of heavy cream in the mixture as well as some vanilla, pumpkin spice, cinnamon and then I'm going to top it with some strawberries. Okay, so I have my bowl of my mixture. I have my pan that's been heating up, so now I'm just going to take my bread and dip your bread into the mixture like this are going to flip it just get both sides really really good then you're just going to let it drip a little bit and then move it over into the pan and then let it cook on each side for like two minutes and then we'll flip all 
Okay, so I just cut up some strawberries, and now while my French toast is cooking, I am just gonna warm up two of these. They're the fully cooked ones. You literally just have to throw them in the microwave. I am about quick and easy meals right now, so I'm just gonna do two of those, and then I am just cooking my French toast, and I will show you what it looks like after. Okay, guys, here is breakfast. It looks like a ton. It kind of is. So I did three pieces of bread and then my two sausages and then I just topped with some strawberries. And yeah, it looks so good. I'm going to add some syrup and then I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I just got done eating. I am about to take my vitamins for the day. I just thought I would show you what I've been taking. So of course I am taking my prenatals every day. I also take a fish oil supplement and then just my electrolyze, liquid electrolytes from Keto Bean. And that is it, super simple right now, especially during pregnancy. So I'm gonna take those and then I'm gonna go get ready. I just finished getting ready. I just curled my hair put on some makeup. Um, I'm in Chase's t-shirt <laughs> because I'm so over trying to find things that fit right now. Like at first I was loving like styling my belly and like finding all these cute outfits I can wear. And now I'm just like, I'm gonna put on my necklace while I'm talking. Now I'm just to the point of my pregnancy where I just wanna be in comfy, loose clothes because I just, <laughs> I'm so over it. And it's like, it's starting to get cold and I don't want to buy all these like winter like maternity clothes because I am only gonna be pregnant for like another month and a half. So honestly, it's pointless. So yeah, I've resorted to Chase's t-shirts and leggings because that is what is comfy right now. And I am not mad about it. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I just wanted to put on some jewelry so I look a little more put together because I'm literally like in this baggy t-shirt. <laughs> I don't wanna look completely homeless. And I feel like if I have like my hair and makeup done, I don't, so it's like a good balance. So yeah, um, I got a nail appointment. I have it scheduled for 12.30. I think I'm just gonna do like, nude acrylics like this honestly I kind of wanted to do like a cute like matte green or something but I don't know if I want green nails for my maternity pictures so I will most likely just do a nude but I do want them longer and coffin shape oh, I have that at 12 30 and what time is it it's 11 right now I'm gonna probably leave here at like I don't know 11 40 ish because I need to go to the nail salon is probably like 15 minutes away from me, but I need to run to the mall that's over that way and possibly Ulta before or after. We'll see, but I need to go return those sweats to Forever 21 like I mentioned. So I'm just going to try and get that done before. I hate going to the mall alone or just in general. It gives me so much anxiety. <laughs> so if I go earlier, it'll be less busy, which is what we need but I'm just in and out in and out real fast so yeah that is my plan for right now and then I am probably just gonna come back and work I haven't worked at all today except for like being on Instagram posting answering some comments DMs things like that but I still need to check in with my clients and do meal plans emails all of that fun stuff so <sighs> I'm out of breath I took my stuff back to Forever 21 and then I went to Marshall's to look at like stuff to see if they had anything. I kind of want like pajamas for in the hospital but they honestly like had nothing. <laughs> so now I am just going to Ulta because I still have about a, like half hour until I need to be at my nail appointment. So I'm gonna run to Ulta really fast and pick up some more natural lashes for my photo shoot our maternity photo shoot and yeah that's the update i'm just sitting in a red light so i figured i would update you guys 
Um, so yeah, I will show you guys once my nails are done and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, I just got home from getting my nails done and running errands. Um, I didn't have time to go to Ulta. I'll probably just go tomorrow since our photo shoot is until Wednesday and it's Monday. But I wanted to show you my nails. They're a little longer <laughs> than I was planning, but they're so cute. It's just like a good nude and that's exactly what I wanted for our pictures. So very happy with how these turned out. But what time is it? It is 1.30. I'm getting a little hungry, so I'm probably just going to have a snack really fast. And I wanted to show you guys what I have as my snacks, so let's go get that. So I just sat down. I am going to get some work done, but like I said earlier, I am I'm not super hungry, so I'm not going to make lunch, but I do want a snack. So I'm just going to have one of these Keto Monk Pack granola bars. Um, I got one of these for the first time in my keto crate box I think from last month and I think they had it in the month before too but they are so freaking good so there's only two net carbs and one gram of sugar and this is the maple pecan flavor which I haven't tried yet I just bought um, a variety pack off Amazon and I think it was only like 14 bucks so that is what I'm going to have for my snack and then when I do eat lunch I will show you guys what I make okay guys so it is 4, almost 4.30 now. For the past few hours, I have just been working and then I have been doing my labor and delivery course that I bought. Um, but I am starting to get a little hungry. Not too bad though, so I'm probably just going to have a snack to hold me over till dinner. So, I am just having one of these two good yogurts. There's only 3 grams of carbs. And then I like to just add some blueberries in it and eat it like that. So that is what I'm going to have for my snack until dinner. It's been a little bit since I had my yogurt, but I figured I would just start dinner because it's going to take like an hour, hour and a half. Um, so I am going to do um, chicken alfredo with spaghetti squash. But spaghetti squash, it's lower carb, but it's not super like keto. So if you're wanting to do strict keto, I would say do like zucchini noodles, but spaghetti squash has just been better for me during pregnancy. So I am just going to bake that for about an hour and then I'll start cooking like the chicken and everything and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I just cut them in half and then I scooped out everything that was in the middle. And now I'm just gonna put some oil and then season it with like salt and pepper. spaghetti squash has like 25 more minutes to cook in the oven so I am going to start cooking the chicken and everything so I just have a couple of chicken breasts in here I'm gonna cut up and then I also like to put bacon in it so this is just ooh, the microwave ready bacon but I like to fry it up anyways um, and then this is the alfredo sauce that I will be using here is the nutrition label for you. So yeah, super easy. I'm just gonna start cooking the chicken and then I will show you guys once everything is done. Okay, so my Alfredo is basically done. I'm just waiting for the spaghetti squash to finish cooking and then I'm also cooking Chase some garlic toast to go with his. But this is what it looks like so far. It looks so yummy. I added the bacon in. I did four pieces of bacon and then just the chicken and then I did the whole can of sauce so here it is and I will show you guys what it looks like at the end okay guys here is what it looks like like I said spaghetti squash isn't super low carb but it's a lower carb so if you're doing strict keto just swap it out for zucchini noodles but yeah it looks super good I'm so hungry so I cannot wait to eat this Okay guys, that is going to be the end of the vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've been eating low carb slash keto while pregnant. Um, I will try and get in as many videos as I can before baby comes. Of course, I will vlog the journey afterwards and 
everything, getting my pre-pregnancy body back and all of that, and I'll just go right back to strict keto on like breastfeeding and how that goes and everything. If I need to, I'll just kind of keep doing what I'm doing, but if not, I will go strict keto. But if you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and make sure to follow me on Instagram. If you don't already, I will leave it up on the screen and in the description below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!